and welcome and in this video we are going to learn about how to make a grass inside on any mesh inside of unity how to make it like you do it on terrain system actually unity has a really good i mean a really okay grass system but the problem is that you can only paint it in on terrains so if you want access everywhere in this video that's what we're going to learn now basically if you don't know what grasses are grasses are cross planes so quads like these with textures on them so for now i've not kept a texture and i've just kept a um a color on it a basic red color in it now we're going to see actually how is a quad rendered so i have a basic fps controller already loaded in so it's going to start and you can see the quad pretty well right and if you just go right into here oh man where is it right you cannot see the quad and this is this is because if you are in a 3d rendering en engine like unity of our face has two sides but only one side is rendered of a face and which side is rendered obviously the side with uh the normal facing so if the normal is facing this side only this side will be rendered so as I already told you grasses are also cross planes grasses can also face the same problem of seeing nothing when you are making grasses and that will be a really awkward situation so to come over with this you create a billboard behavior a billboard behavior is a behavior in which the grasses start to rotate with your camera so that you always see the front side of the grass now let the name remain to quad only and let's just uh add a component to this and name this bill board uh behavior so this is going to be billboard behavior script add it create and add so this is this is going to create a script billboard behavior inside of it i'm going to access the script from here and open it in visual studio So, so I've opened the Visual Studio, and now I'm going to write the script here. There's now we're going to create a variable, name it fwd for forward, then is equal to camera dot main and dot dot uh, transform dot forward. Now, if you don't have a knowledge about C Sharp, then practically you should know a little bit. Although it's easy to understand if you already uh, know these things. So I'm equating this to uh, the rotate means the Y on this. So transform. Let's go to transform dot rotation. That is uh, this one. Transform dot rotation is equals to quaternion dot uh look rotation and in brackets i'm going to write fwd and i'm going to close this what's this going to do is it's going to add a rotation to it so let's just firstly test it so for testing it we're going to go back to unity and give this a little bit of time to load now let's just put on this oh it's still loading so it's going to take a little bit of time yes it's going to so yes, now we have started and let's just go this side. And this is actually the billboard behavior. What do you see right in here? You always see the, the front side of the plane and you never see the back side. So this is called the billboard behavior. As you can see that you cannot at any cost see the back side. But yes, there's also another way of doing this without the billboard behavior. But firstly, set up the material for this. We're going to go to the quad and where was this material? I think the first person controller, prefabs, yes, quad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an albedo texture. And I got this albedo texture from uh, I got this uh, I one that will be the texture from actually uh, Nature Starter Kit Pack 1. So firstly you need to import the package in Nature Starter Kit Pack 1. So now I've added it and I've made it a cutout and I already, I mean the pack 2. Let's add a color to it right in there. 
obviously this is looking good but this has no sway to add a sway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in there create and I'm gonna go shader and uh, you can go anything but I'll say standard shader and name this to be uh, grass sway shader So you're going to select the grass sway shader and open it inside of Visual Studio and it's going to uh, bring this. Now obviously you don't know how to write HLSL because it's not a common language and I'm also not too great at it but I wrote already a shader on it and the text file can be downloaded. Shut up. Yes. And you press CTRL A, CTRL C and then CTRL V. So this is going to add this one and then just save this. If you really want to understand this then HLSL is not a really difficult language to understand although yes uh, depends upon how you want to make it. So we're going to go to quad, go to standard, custom, grass, grass bending. It's going to and you're going to see it starts to bend my god. So you can make the displacement first a little bit this uh, I mean and you got the shake time, you're gonna make it a little bit less. Then the shake bending also a little bit less, so that it looks pretty normal. Basically this uses vertex displacement, so it's not something that like yeah I should be and proud of. And alpha cutoff should be like maximum like the zero. And displacement should be like this much so this is set up now the point is that uh, this shader that I've created what you need to do is you need to uh, double sided global elimination now if you don't want the behavior that is the quad behavior this billboard behavior then you can switch it off and I'm going to tell you why this is because you can now see the grass from both the sides as it uh, enables double sided rendering so you're going to see that the grass is there from both the sides. Now, this was about how to create the grass, right? And one more thing that you need to add in the grass is that you just switch off the mesh collider and remove the component. Now, for painting the grass, what you can do is go to, uh, you need to go to uh, Tools firstly. Yes, so for painting the grass on mass level, you'll have to watch the next video as this video might go too long for that. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it.